Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to create, sort, and filter an Excel table. Let's go ahead and get started. So you can see that I have a worksheet right here and it's covering an inventory of plants as of today's date. Now you can see that all of this data right here is related. It contains the quantity in stock, the item number, the item name, the price, size, feature, category, and stock level for all of the plants within my inventory. Now, if I want to create an, a table inside of Microsoft Excel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Insert tab, and I'm going to go into the Tables group, and I'm going to hover over right here where it says Table. Now, it says Create a Table to Organize and Analyze Related Data. Tables make it easy to sort, filter, and format data within a sheet. Now, keep in mind that to create a table, first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what your related data is. That's the key term from that sentence. So the related data is from right here, which is my header for quantity and stock, all the way over to column H, where I have stock level, and then down here to row 17. Now before I create the table, I want to select all of this data. Why? Because it tells Excel exactly what my tata, uh, table data is. So now I'm going to go to the Insert tab, Tables group, and I'm going to click on Table and it's going to bring up a create table dialog box and it'll say equals the range that you have currently selected. Now if I didn't select my range before I clicked on table, this would be my opportunity to click this button here and then select the range. But since I already did it, it already populates automatically. Now it says my table has headers. Okay, so what is a table header? That is the title columns. So you'll see quantity and stock, item number, item name, so on and so forth. So I'm going to leave that checked because I do have the column headers. So now I'm going to click OK and watch what happens. Immediately after clicking OK, you're going to see that the uh, table is applied. Now I clicked away so that you could see what the table looks like and you'll see that the header row has a different style than the rest of the rows and then there is a difference between every single row. One is a shade darker, one is a shade lighter. This is called banded rows. Banded rows basically help you uh, see which row is which just by looking on uh, at the color in the background. So if I look at banana cream right here, I could tell that the stock level is okay because this one is in white for the background and so is this one over here. It just makes it a little bit easier. All right, so let's go ahead and cover a few things that you're going to see inside of your table. Whenever you click inside of your table, you're going to see that the Table Tools Design tab appears up at the top. Within the Table Tools Design tab, you can make all the design changes that you want to your table. So I'm going to start on the uh, right side over here where it says Table Styles. You may be wondering why my current table style is blue and white. Well, that's because of the theme within the Page Layout tab, but I could change that style anytime I want by going to the Table Styles group going over here to the more button in the bottom right of the group and if I click the more button I can quickly see how to change the visual style of the, the of the table so I click right there it's basically split up into three different styles you have light styles up at the top medium styles in the middle and dark styles at the bottom and this is just how uh, light through dark the colors are so you can see that I have uh, styles that are more blue, styles that are yellow, orange, so on and so forth. Again, these colors come from the theme that you chose for your Excel uh, worksheet. Alright, so here we go. So I'm going to choose this one here, light blue, table style, light 20. So I choose that and you can see that the new style is applied. Now I'm going to move to the group over here to the left of that. So you're going to see that within the table style options group, you have a bunch of different check boxes that you could choose from. You'll see that this one says header row. Now this is automatically checked because my table does have headers. So I'm going to leave that checked. Right here we have one called the total row and I'm going to show you what this does right here. When you turn on the, or off the total row, the total row is at the end of the table and displays for each column. This is an easy way to make calculations within your table without having to write a function. So if I click on the total row, watch what happens when I click this to the bottom of my table. You should see this happen in row 18. So I click on total row and you'll notice down here in row 18 the total now displays and it gives me totals throughout. Now notice that it doesn't really display too much here but let's say that I wanted to get the total or the average retail price right here. If I click on retail price you're going to notice that a little filter icon pops up right here and if I click that 
I could then choose from a variety of different Excel functions to get the calculation that I want. In this case, I'll choose average. And you can see that my average price is $16.03. Now, if I wanted to format this and say a currency style, I could do that, but I'm not going to do it for this worksheet. All right, so that's kind of a cool feature of tables. So you can easily get calculations within them. All right, so the next thing that you'll see here is what I mentioned before, banded rows. Banded rows uh, basically display even and odd rows differently. So you can see if I turn that off, it basically makes them all the same shade for the background. Okay, so go ahead and see the difference between on and off there. This is something that you'll see on the Microsoft Office Specialist exam if that's what you're studying for. All right, next you'll see over here uh, the first column checkbox. What that does, you can see there, it basically makes the first column text bold. And then last column does the same thing, only with the last column as I turn that on and off. Banded columns, just like banded rows. Let me go ahead and turn off banded rows. You can see what they do. They make the columns banded, so a different shade on each column. All right, so that's what that one does. All right, so the next part says filter button. I'm going to leave that on. I find it more useful on than off. So let's say that we're looking at our table here, and we see this category column over here. And let's say that I just wanted to look at every plant type that was called specialty. Okay, so you can see I have a couple of them here, but I just want to view those ones. I don't want to view anything else. Well, then I could go here to category filter, which is in the bottom right of that uh, field name, and I click right there. And then I can go down here and I could either sort by this or right down here at the bottom, you could see that there is specialty and it's currently checked. So I could either uncheck each one individually so that specialty is just selected or I could choose select all to turn them all off and then turn on specialty. Then I click OK and watch what happens. <clears throat> Now it just displays the specialty plant type and the total row has updated to just show me the average price of the specialty plant type. So this is an easy way to basically filter out your tables. So it's an easy way to organize your information and your data. So over here, if I wanted to clear the filters so that I could see all of my table again, a lot of students get concerned thinking that they accidentally deleted some rows here, but you didn't actually delete anything. You're just not showing certain rows. So you can see over here along our rows on the left side, one, two, three, four, and then it skips to eight. So why did it skip to eight? Well, that's because five, six, and seven were, were not specialty plant types. So that's why those got uh, hidden. And then nine and 10, same sort of thing. So if I want to clear that filter so that I could see all my rows again, I'm going to go right over here to category. I'm going to click the drop down on category and then go clear filter from category. Perfect. And now all of my rows are displayed. My retail price uh, total got adjusted again. So that looks good. Now let's say that you wanted to sort a table. Tables are also very useful for, sort, uh, for sorting. So right here, I'm going to go to item name and I'm going to click the uh, filter icon for that one. And if I click that, you could also sort A to Z or Z to A. Keep in mind that A to Z starts with the letter A up at the top and goes all the way alphabetically down as long as you're using uh, the, fil or the sort for a piece of text. However, let's say I'm looking at retail price where this is numbers. Notice that it doesn't do A to Z. It does smallest number to largest number or largest number to smallest number. So that looks good too. So I'm going to sort A to Z by item name and you'll see that it resorts my table starting with banana cream and ending with top hat blueberry. So that is a good way to quickly sort your uh, your uh, information within your table. So hope, hopefully this uh, video has helped you out, learn a little bit more about tables and how to sort and filter and create tables. So if this video did help you, please give it a thumbs up. If you're learning how to learn or learning how to use Microsoft Excel 2016, please check out my Excel playlist and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.